In this part, we'll talk about enhanced for loop. Now let's see why we require enhanced for loop. So let's say you have an array. So let's see, uh, let's create an array of integers. So we'll say we have an array of integer. Let's name it as uh, numbers or nums equal to new int array. So we'll say the size of array is 10. Now I want to insert some values. Now one of the way to insert values in array is you can use a of i and then not a of i, a of 0 and then we'll say the value is 1 and then a of 1 with the value is 2 and this is how we can insert values, right? Now instead of this, we can use some for loop to insert values. So we can say int i uh, will say equal to 0 because index number starts with 0 uh, less than 10 and i plus plus. Okay, now we have this uh, for loop which starts with i, uh-oh, I'm missing a main function here. Let me just put it in main function. So it is B S V M tab. So everything should be in main function or in some in some functions. And let me say format. Now, so we have this for loop. Uh, now what we'll do is we'll we'll assign some random values. Now how to assign random values? We can create a random class. We'll say random r equal to new random using which you can generate some random numbers. And then here we'll say a of zero, a of zero, or a of i, a of i. Then in this we can say r dot. We have a function here called as next int. Okay, and the maximum value I want here is let's say fifty. Okay, what's the issue? Oh, the array is nums. So we have this array and the maximum value of array will be 50. Simple. And now I don't want any uh, negative number. I want only po uh, we will print this now. So how to print an uh, array if you say s out and if you say nums. Now uh, you should print an array, right? Let's, let's see what the output will be. So if I run this now let me close all different windows here. Okay, so if you go to this output, you can see this is the address or the hash code of your uh, nums object. So if you want to print the value, you have to specify index, index number. If I say num of nums of zero, it will print the first number, and the first number is twenty-eight. Again, this is random generation of numbers. But let's say I want to print all the values, so I have to use a for loop. We'll say int i equal to again zero, and then i less than not less than. Uh, yeah, less than 10 and i plus plus and we can say I want to print these values so instead of 0 here we can mention it as i so it should print all the numbers in that array now this time if I run this I will get different set of values so I got all these values 341 and blah 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 so we got all these values right so we can print in this way but let's say if I don't know the values Okay, I don't know the values of or how many number of uh, how many numbers I have. In that case, I can ask nums that give me your length, and I will go till the uh, length minus one. So if your length returns ten, so it will go till nine. Okay, so if I run this now again, I will be getting an output, and bingo, we got the we got ten numbers here. But let's say uh, I want to change this. So one of the way to print this or uh, the same number is with the help of something called as enhanced for loop. Now how to use enhanced for loop? Now in this scenario what we are doing is we are fetching no uh, numbers from nums and one by one. Instead of that we will assign this task to a variable called as let's say n and I will say n go to nums and pick each value. And instead of printing nums here we can print num. So, uh, we, we can print n. So instead of printing the array, we are printing individual values. So this n will go to nums for the first time, it will fetch the first value. After first value, it will fetch the second value and third value and then it, it will go on. Now if I run this, and this is your output. Right, and you can see the maximum value we, we are getting is 50. So because of this bond. Okay, so this is how you have to use a enhanced for loop. But let's say you, you want to work with collections. Now enhanced for loop, 
uh, works very effective and effectively in enhanced for loop. Uh, sorry, in uh, 